Basic Vegetable and Fruit Carving Decoration Beefsteak Tomato Plate Decoration Butterfly In this chapter, it is to teach you how to make a tomato dish decoration. What the teacher showed us today is Butterfly and Plate Decoration of the Sunflower What we need today is beefsteak tomatoes. The teacher will choose parsley for the decoration. To make an ornament, both red and green will look better together. Okay, let's take a look at how to cut tomatoes. First, we choose round beefsteak tomatoes, then pull out the stem. After resection, let's cut it in half. After cutting, take a look at the size of our materials. If it's bigger, you can divide it into four parts. That's like what the teacher says today. Just divide it into three parts. So on average, let's cut an equal part to the right first. After that, we'll cut it in half. This is three equal parts. Okay, let's choose one of the equal portions first. Take a look. There is a sharp corner on this side. When we set up the knife, Let's take the first action. Put the sharp corner on the chopping board first. Then, cut off the sharp corners slightly. Throw it away. After cutting, then when we cut, the blade tip touches the stick plate. It's almost 25 to 30 degrees. Push the blade forward and pull it back when it touches the chopping block. Then our teacher will introduce the outline first. It's a semicircle. Wait while we're pulling. About a quarter of this place. If this tomato is divided into half and half, this half point is a quarter point. It's almost where this point is not cut off. First, put the knife on the section. Then push the blade tip forward. When the tip of the knife touches the chopping block, stop and then pull back. Pull it to the quarter point. OK, stop. So the bottom here is not cut off. Then turn it around. This section is not cut off. After finishing this part, let's look at the distribution of the outer contour. I said we need to divide it into four equal parts. Here, it's half. Then do it again at the quarter point. Let's tear off the skin later to the toothpick. I called it a quarter dot. Stop tearing here. Let's take a look at the distribution here. White and the thickness between white and red is mine. The gap is almost 0.2 centimeters. Tear off the skin for us. When we cut the opening side, let's lay our knives flat. OK, after the card gets in, slowly press down on the left hand. Cut the part where the right hand holds the knife in the same way, then push forward slowly. Slowly press down with your left hand. Push it to what the teacher said just now. Stop here. We'll turn it over on the left and right. In this way, it becomes a butterfly. OK, in the same way, let's put it on this plate again. Then we'll cut the other two. OK, repeat. Cut off this sharp corner first. Push the knife holder forward on it, and then pull it back after touching the chopping block. Stop at a quarter of the way. Cut in a piece from the side of the cutting surface to open the skin. OK, a quarter. Stop. Spread it out from side to side. Well, it becomes a butterfly. Let's make a pendulum in a triangular symmetry. OK, push it forward and then pull it back. OK, cut from the opening. Use a sawing way. 
slowly press the left hand down to a quarter of the place to stop the knife. Take it out and spread it out. It becomes a butterfly. Okay, let's arrange this side in a triangular symmetry. That's a feature of our plate decoration. It's our material. Don't go beyond the periphery of this plate. This is wrong. We'll try to keep it on the plate. Inside the inner circle of this plate, after triangular symmetry, let's take another look. For color matching, we can choose cucumbers or take this parsley green place directly. Between the two, here is a way to decorate. The plate decoration is nothing more than a collection of colors. The simple one, a butterfly-shaped dish, is all right. Finished. End of this unit. Beefsteak tomato plate decoration. Sunflower. Next, let's demonstrate a cutting method of sunflowers. First, let's see the bottom. Let's make a flat cut here. Let it stand upright. When you stand it upright, then we'll cut it into eight equal parts. To slice eight equal parts, we can first make a mark with a toothpick and mark vertical and horizontal lines. Let's divide it into four equal parts. We are in the middle of each equal part. Insert another toothpick. This will give you an average eight equal parts. If your positions are different in size, you can fine tune your spacing. First, after we divide it into eight equal parts, then we use the cutter, according to the position on the toothpick. Then when cutting, the toothpick can pull it out first. Half and half, then turn it around, half again. Okay. Take out the toothpick first. After the eight equal parts are cut, take an equal portion first. Let's take a look at its distribution. For example, the length of the outer contour. If we divide it into four equal parts, cut it in half, slice the upper one, then repeat, so there are four squares. Then, we'll take the toothpick below. So these two were pulled out. Then, when he opens the skin, and stop at this toothpick point. That's what every equal part is. We need to tear off the skin. The thickness of the epidermis is about 0.2 centimeters. Don't be too thin. After the film is finished, then let's use our thumbs and forefingers. Moisten the skin a little like this. Make the skins peel off. After this is done, push it back to its former position. Then follow the same action and do the other seven parts. Okay, don't be too thin. If it is too thin, the leaf will easily drop. In the selection of materials, don't choose beefsteak tomatoes that are too ripe.
Okay, move it to the middle of this plate. Then let's change its position. After the adjustment, we will also choose a piece of parsley as an ornament. Okay, that's it for the main decoration method of our sunflower. End of this unit. Beefsteak tomato plate decoration. Lotus. How to turn the sunflowers into another one. Then it extends and changes into another lotus shape. First, let's take one piece. Then, at this sharp corner, we cut it flat. This range can be larger so that it can stand upright. Stand it up like this. Then we'll put it back in place. The other seven are the same. Then minor adjustments to the position of the eight equal parts. In the middle, we can put fried food, for example or make a plate with other cups. If we don't have one, let's use parsley as an ornament for the time being. Okay, that's it. Another lotus shape. End of the course. Thank you for watching.